A successful website is a loop of solving a problem and clearing doubts. So you design, research and optimize conversions. But how do you get people to visit the website in the first place? You can't really optimize when you have zero users. What I've been doing for a couple years now is content marketing, writing quite a lot of useful and very engaging articles. Most of those 12 hours of writing an article was going to waste. And that's because my articles and my websites in general weren't SEO optimized. That means I was wasting a lot of potential. I did some fixes and it resulted in a 23.5% traffic increase and over 25% unique visitor increase in just over a month. Today, in collaboration with Ahrefs, I will take you behind the scenes and show you exactly how I did it and how you can replicate that to have your website grow as well. I run an educational platform called Square One with over 21,000 registered users. But we never SEO optimized in any way, at least not consciously. What we did there was asking the users what they need, then building out the features and then making some content. Of course, most brands, and that was our case also, when making a website go to a typical SEO checklist. So you need your meta keywords, meta descriptions, you need your H ones and the titles and all that stuff to be sort of in order but you're kind of going in blind to those things you don't really understand how and why they contribute so you kind of try to fix something without really knowing if it's gonna have a positive effect and I thought that was enough I was so wrong. In early December, I was looking to improve the SEO a little bit and bought myself a starter Ahrefs license. And when it first started analyzing my site, I was like, yeah, we're probably pretty good. A few moments later. But then it came up with over 5,000 errors in SEO. And sure, it's not a huge percentage given we have over 100,000 pages, but still 5,000 errors? Great content is one thing, and I believe we have that. But that's not the only thing that influences your position in search engines. Things like page speed, backlinks, the right content structure, and obviously not having 5,000 errors usually helps. The best thing is that looking at those errors, it was pretty easy to determine how to fix them. It wasn't like, oh, some error with a random number and then you figure it out. No, it was basically saying what's wrong. Like this page has missing images, this page doesn't have a description, or this page has multiple H1s. We had multiple different error types on the website. Some were much tougher to fix, like a slow loading page because somebody had a profile full of huge graphics on it. Those things required us to actually dig deep into the code and optimize things. That's pretty tough. But we also had things like duplicate content users, because when you create an account on our platform and you don't fill in your name or your bio, you're a stranger and you get assigned a number. So like stranger 2578. And there are some people that signed up and maybe never went to filling out their profile. And that led to a couple hundred of these people having profiles that led to being indexed and indexed as a duplicate page. So we managed to identify those pages. And if your profile is completely empty, so no projects, no bio, no photo, no name, then we add a little bit of code that asks the bot to not index it, to not look at that website because it's not a relevant website on the page. When you get around to having a website with over a hundred thousand different pages, there are things that are bound to happen. So we had some H1 tags missing. We had some descriptions that were too short or too long. And if you have a small page, you can just jump in and edit all that stuff manually. But with a hundred thousand pages and five thousand errors, I don't imagine myself going into 5,000 different files and editing everything by hand. Ahrefs has a nice feature called patches that allows you to actually fix those things either manually or with AI right from the report. So it fixes things on your website from the report. And that can save you a lot of time because in many cases, these tweaks aren't really that big, but there is a lot of them. That way you avoid some pretty overwhelming and boring work. All without bothering the developer because yeah, we want them to focus on that page speed part. Content changes. 
Another cool feature is being able to see how changing content correlates with growth. The platform keeps a history of all the changes for both you and your competitors. And yeah, it's really important to add the competing sites because that way you can see what keywords they're ranking on and improve your own strategy. Being able to track exactly what competitors do is actually pretty cool. I felt a little bit like a spy looking behind the scenes. So if you see somebody jumping a couple positions in Google search, you can look at the content that it links to and see what changed in the last three or five or seven days. And based on that, you can adjust your strategy. So if they did five examples on how to improve your design skills in 2025, you do six or seven. It also works for seeing the changes you made on your own website. So if your rankings dropped, for example, this might be due to the competitors doing something, but it also might be due to you messing something up or modifying something and, well, making it worse. I'm not an SEO expert. I like design and optimizing conversions. But with these tools and a little bit of creativity, you can greatly increase the reach of your content and then it's more conversions to track for you. We did that 25% growth in a little over a month and we didn't really change our content strategy. I was writing pretty much the same kinds of articles, still useful, still based on actually solving an issue people have or explaining something to them. But this time we were also able to use Ahrefs to research a lot of the keywords that people were searching for or a lot of the questions that people were searching for and add those questions to some of the articles and then explain it in our own words, no AI, no BS, just writing an actual informed explanation. And it wasn't in any way SEO oriented and I think that's the way to do it. And having a powerful app that can help you contribute to that growth, fix your issues and make the content that you're already making perform better is a superpower. You don't need to be an expert anymore. You can just run an audit and then patch the issues and then maybe ask your developer to patch some of the more difficult ones like page speed. On some of the keywords, we were ranking dead last, like page 15 or something. And I'm happy to announce that just this month, we got to page one for one of the keywords that we're aiming for. And yeah, it's page one in all the markets that are relevant for us. To know what to improve, you need to first know where you're at. So how many people are even visiting your website from search engines? And Ahrefs has a free version that has built-in analytics. I already had a paid plan that also included the free analytics tool. And I was also paying some other company for analytics every month, 49 euros. So that was a pretty easy way to save some money. If you're running a website, it's a no brainer to jump on the Ahrefs free plan right now. You'll get the analytics, but also an SEO audit and data on backlinks. And that's a great way to start fixing your website. This has been quite transformational because we not only fixed the website and increased our reach, now I actually know what contributes to that reach what the actions that I take, the articles that I write, how they add up to the views that we get onto the site and how to maximize their potential. So we're not having an article that is really, really good, but only performing at 50% of what it can do. Go to ahrefs.com, link in the description and start analyzing and optimizing your website right now. I'm already installing a secondary plan on Malevich method. So let's optimize for reach too, not just conversion. It's gonna make it easier because the more reach you have, the more users you have and the more conversion tracking techniques you can try. And obviously, have a beautiful day.